Norton Abrasives and the railroad industry have worked together for decades to provide safe and efficient products, as well as methods used in the maintenance of way railroad industry. However, safety can only occur if you, the operator, know and follow the rules. Failure to follow the rules only once can lead to an accident that could forever change your life or the life of someone close to you. It's up to you to choose safety first. Railroad abrasive safety. Only you can make it happen. Every grinder working the rails has a few stories to tell about what happens when safety guidelines are not followed. Careful or not, working outside exposes grinding stones and blades to weather extremes and to a regular dose of bumping and banging, a treatment that is rougher than even the most difficult factory environments. So, as a maintenance of way grinder, you need to pay careful, regular attention to safety precautions for your own safety and the safety of your crew members. Because if handled improperly, grinding wheels can be damaged and be dangerous. But what are these precautions? And as an operator, what should you know about grinding wheels and stones in order to avoid problems? To answer these questions, we'll start with the safety briefing, then describe the common types of grinding wheels, and look at how to select and handle grinding wheels. We'll then review the safety procedures of the most common grinding machines and examine common grinding procedures from a safety standpoint. However, before beginning any work on a railway system, a job briefing meeting must occur. All crew members must know that the work area is clear of all traffic and precautions taken to assure that it remains clear for the duration of the work. The crew must be briefed about the work that will be performed, the equipment to be used, and the required safety materials. Weather conditions, spark containment, and fire suppression should always be reviewed. Good communication is critical to preventing accidents. No one wants any surprises. This is the time to ensure that everyone is wearing his or her proper personal protective equipment. PPE saves eyes, fingers, and lives. Most safety procedures start long before you ever start cutting or grinding. They start with the grinding wheels themselves. Wheel and blade manufacturers follow strict design, quality control, and manufacturing procedures so you can be assured that the wheels are safe and reliable when shipped from the factory. Grinding wheels for the maintenance of way applications come in a number of shapes and sizes. Type 1 wheels are used with straight and flexible shaft grinders, commonly referred to as an 8x1 grinder. They are reinforced and operate at speeds of up to 12,500 surface feet per minute. They are generally used to resurface the running surface of the rails. Type 6 and 11 wheels are used with right angle grinders and flexible shaft grinders. They are also used on profile grinding machines and have a maximum operating speed of 9,500 surface feet per minute and are also used on the running surface of the rails. Type 5 wheels are used on the MC3 grinder. These types of wheels are used to grind frogs and switches. Type 16, 17, and 18 cones and plugs are used on straight shaft grinders and angle grinders with a maximum operating speed of 9,500 surface feet per minute. They are also used for rapid stock removal in hard to reach areas and to grind chamfers and bolt holes for stress relief. Cutoff wheels are used with gas, hydraulic powered, portable or semi-portable flexible shaft oscillation equipment as well as with angle grinders. The saws are commonly referred to as rail saws. The wheels are heavily reinforced and operate at speeds of up to 20,000 surface feet per minute and are used for cutting the rail. For each wheel type, there can be a variety of performance characteristics. Choosing the right wheel for the job not only increases efficiency, it improves safety. To help you with your selection, here are a few questions you should ask yourself. Number one, what material am I grinding? If it's a soft ductile iron, then you choose a hard stone with a coarse grit. If it's a durable hard steel, then your choice would be soft stone with a finer grit. Number two, how much material do I want to remove? For rapid stock removal, you should choose a coarse stone, but for hard to grind materials, you'll need a lot of cutting points offered by a finer stone. Number three, 
What wheel speed can my machine produce? Be sure the wheel you choose is rated for the speed of the machine. The closer to the wheel maximum speed that you work, the greater the metal removal rate you will get, with the least wheel wear. However, never exceed the rated speed of any grinding wheel. Number 4. How powerful is the grinder I'll be using? This affects the abrasive, the bond used on the wheel, and the wheel grade. For a low horsepower machine, use soft grades. For high powered machines, use hard grades and durable abrasives. Careless and rough handling is one of the most frequent causes of wheel breakage, but it's also one of the easiest to overcome simply by establishing good wheel handling habits. As a maintenance of way grinder, wheel handling is a little trickier than if you work indoors, so you'll need to be extra careful. Every Norton wheel 6 inches in diameter or greater has been speed tested, thoroughly inspected at the factory, and carefully packaged. But then it was loaded on a truck, shipped to a distributor, unpacked, and put into storage before you selected it and put it in your work vehicle. You have no way of knowing what happened to it along the way. It could have gotten pretty banged up. Then you take it from worksite to worksite and expose it to difficult jobs and weather conditions. So safety inspections are important for damage, cracks, and deterioration. You'll also need to pay careful attention to storage in the shop and on your vehicles. Wheels should lie flat on a steel plate and be carefully secured for travel. Never leave wheels mounted on your grinders while moving between sites. And avoid exposure to moisture. Good handling practice means storing the wheels properly and keeping them out of the rain. Organic or resin bonded wheels, like the ones used by the railroad, should be used within two years of their manufacturing date. Always rotate your stock so that you use the oldest wheels first. There are two basic types of portable grinders for maintenance of way cutoff operations. Small gas, electric, pneumatic, or hydraulic machines using 12, 14, or 16-inch wheels, and large semi-portable machines using 26-inch diameter wheels. These semi-portable machines are either gas or hydraulic and usually roll along the track. For reshaping and profile grinding, these machines may also be gasoline, electric, or pneumatic, but in addition to horizontal spindles, there are vertical and flexible shaft machines. To operate your grinding machine safely, regular machine maintenance must not be overlooked. The wheel guards must be inspected to make sure that they are not damaged and that they are properly installed. It's the law. When you selected a wheel to use, check your machine spindle speed against the wheel speed rating. Speed and safety go hand in hand. The maximum spindle speed must never exceed the rated wheel speed or the wheel could fly apart. And since the spindle speed may vary, check it frequently. If you use a machine every day, then check it every day, at least once. Always follow all the warnings that come on the wheels and with your machine. Check the wheel for any special instructions like for fixtured rail cutting only. Carefully follow proper wheel flanging and mounting procedures when you install the wheel. Improper installation is another common cause of wheel breakage. Refer to ANSI B7.1 for general flanging information and to your machine manuals for any unique flanging and mounting procedures. Another set of useful tools are angle grinders. Type 1 and 11 wheels fit onto these machines. Here we show how to properly mount a small cutting off wheel onto a small angle grinder. First, inspect the wheel for any damage. If it has damage, don't use it. Be certain the wheel and the grinder match. And as with all wheels, check the machine and wheel speed. Never exceed the speed marked on the cutting off wheel. Mount cutting off wheels onto grinders with matching flanges and proper cutting off wheel guard. Finally, test the wheel on the machine for one minute safely away from anyone before attempting to cut anything. Once the wheel is properly selected and mounted, whether for cutting off or profile grinding, there are just a few simple common sense rules that you should follow to ensure your safety and the safety of others working around you.
Spark containment is important to everyone's safety and for the environment. Know the wind speed and direction. Use spark barriers and never send the spark stream in the direction of combustible materials. Know where your sparks are going and direct them properly. Keep fire suppression equipment nearby and know how to use it. Goggles, gloves, and guards save eyes, fingers, and lives, so always use them. The recommended personal protective equipment for maintenance of way grinders is helmet, goggles, face shield and earplugs, gloves, flame retardant jacket, reflective vest, long snug pants, steel toes, and leggings. Check your machine spindle speed at the beginning of the day and throughout the job in order to prevent a runaway wheel and breakage. Carry the machine with the engine off with the muffler away from you. Before starting it, double check that the gas cap is on, that the handle is free of fuel and oil, and that the gas container is well out of the spark producing area. Hydraulic saws require specific safety precautions. Always disconnect the supply lines whenever changing the wheels. Check the hydraulic power source for a proper pressure and flow settings and that there is a pressure relief valve. Make sure to use the proper hoses and that there are no leaks or loose connections. And finally, check the speed before operation and never use without a guard. If you are using an electric grinder, use the same precautions you would use for any electrical tool. Proper grounding, correct power and cords, and avoid water. Make sure that the wheel is not touching anything at startup. Be sure to stay clear of the wheel and let it run freely for at least a full minute. Then holding the machine with both hands and with both feet planted firmly on the ground, bring the wheel carefully to the work. Do not jam the wheel into the work. Cutoff wheels can't take the same side pressure that thicker wheels can, so be sure to avoid twisting the wheel in the cut. If your footing is not firm, you're almost certain to twist the wheel. Therefore, keep both feet planted on the ground. Be aware and keep clear of any tripping hazards before, during, and after grinding. Handheld machines offer the greatest opportunity for lapses in safety. So concentrate. A loss of concentration can lead to a distraction resulting in jamming the wheel into the work and breakage. Always stay in control of your machine and when you're finished, never store the grinder with the wheel on. This sets you up for cracked, damaged, or moisture soaked wheels. Grinding generates dust, most of which comes from the material being ground. Always review the material safety data sheet for the grinding wheel work material, or any other product used in the grinding process. For more information, refer to OSHA and ANSI standards. So to review, select the proper wheel for your tool and application. Handle that wheel with care. Never use a damaged wheel. Grind and cut using safe operating techniques. One mistake can create a lifetime of regrets. Wear your PPE and practice safe spark containment. In conclusion, your work is outside. It's not uncommon for the wheels, stones, and blades you work with to be exposed to a little bumping and banging, so following safety precautions has to be a requirement of your job. If handled improperly or misused, grinding wheels can be damaged and can be dangerous. But by applying your knowledge of grinding wheels and machines, and by paying careful, regular attention to common sense grinding wheel safety procedures, you can prevent accidents from happening. You can make every grinding operation a safe grinding operation. And remember, railroad safety, only you can make it happen. <laughs>